Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today I want to show you guys a great app called Kodi Config that's going to allow you to install multiple builds on your Kodi device at once. It's going to, have to let you have as many as you want on there. You just need to make sure you have enough space to back up those, uh, those builds. But let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, before we actually get into the app, I just want to tell you guys that this app is actually available for all Android-based devices, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your uh, Android TV box, your Nvidia Shield, anything like that, including your Fire TV and your Fire Stick. So I'm going to sort of split this up. I'm going to show you guys how to use the, uh, the Kodi part of it on the Fire TV. And then there's actually a live TV component to this as well. And I'm going to show you guys how to use that on the Nvidia Shield. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this on the Fire Stick. However, this will work on other Android devices like your phone, your tablet, your Android TV boxes, your Nvidia Shields. And if you have some of those devices, you can actually get some of these apps right from the Google Play Store. But since many of my viewers I know will use the Fire TV and the Fire Stick, I'm going to go ahead and show you on here. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're set up to sideload apps. And so we're going to come up here to our settings tab there. And from settings, we're going to scroll over to where it says device and we're going to click on device from device. We want to scroll down to where it says developer options and click on developer options. From here, we're going to go ahead and click ADB debugging and make sure that it's turned on. And then we're going to click apps from unknown sources and make sure that's turned on. Now, when you click the apps from unknown sources, you may get a pop up message like this. Don't worry about that. Just go ahead and click turn on. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and click our home button to get back to our home screen. Now from our home screen, what we want to do is we want to go get an app called downloader. It's right here. You can see I actually already have it installed. So all we're going to do to get that is just come up here to our menu again, and we're going to go over to the search magnifying glass and we're going to go ahead and click on D O W. We're just going to basically start spelling out downloader. And once we click D O W, you'll see it there in the list where it says downloader. We're going to go ahead and click that there. You'll see it's going to show up under the apps and games category. Now, if you don't have it, it's going to show up and say to get or to download. I'm going to click it. It's going to open right into the app because I already have it. Now, when you first open the app, it's going to look like this right here. Now, what you want to do from this page is just scroll all the way over to the left here. Go down to where it says settings and click on settings. And now from settings, just scroll over here to where uh, enabled JavaScript is and make sure that is checked. If it's not checked, just go ahead and check it. Now, once you've done that, we're going to come back up here and we're going to go to browser and click on browser. And now we're once in there. Uh, once we're in the browser here, we're going to come up here to the address bar. We're going to click in there. And now from here, we're going to go ahead and put in this web address so that we can go ahead and get our Kodi installed onto our device. So there we go. We want to type in Kodi.tv. So again, it's Kodi.tv. So we're going to go ahead and click on go or the play button on our remote. So once we've gotten to the Kodi website here, what we want to do is just scroll down some. So you'll see the, uh, the little cursor thing there. We can go ahead and click on that. Got it just to get rid of that little pop up there that talks about they use cookies and we'll just scroll down and we'll, uh, we'll come down here and you'll see there's a bunch of information in there. But what we want to do is we want to come to this mid section here where it's going to show the uh, different things that Kodi can run on. And so we want to go ahead and click on Android right there. And this is going to take us to the download page. So we're just going to scroll down here and we're going to see where it says choose your weapon. And then they're going to have the different platforms again that Kodi will run on. And we want to come up here and go to Android and click on Android. And from here, you're going to see where it has different tabs. It's going to have the recommended tab, pre-release and development builds. I'm going to show you guys the recommended, which is Kodi version 17.6 Krypton, which is the current release build. These other pre-releases are uh, Kodi 18 Leia, which are in beta right now and not a full release. So once we get here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the ARM 7A 32 bit and we're going to click that there. You'll see it says download started and it should start downloading right there and it won't take very long. It's only about uh, 86 megabytes for the APK. Now, if your internet is slow, it could take a little bit longer. If your internet's really fast, it could be even uh, quicker, but it'll go through. And then once it does, you'll see the installation page right here. And now we just need to go ahead and uh, scroll down and then click over to where it says install and click install. 
and you'll see there it'll start installing the app. This usually just takes a couple of seconds, maybe about 20 or 30 seconds, and it will be installed. And there we go. We have Kodi installed now. You can see where it says ready to launch. You can click the menu button on your remote to launch it. Or what you can do is down here at the bottom where it says done or open, you can choose either one of those. I recommend you click on done. The reason for that is, is you don't need the Kodi APK file on your device after you've installed the app. It's already installed and the APK just takes up extra room on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete and I'm going to click delete again to confirm that I want to delete the APK and now the APK is deleted. All right, so now once we've done that, we are back here at our downloader uh, window here, our downloader app. We're just going to go ahead and click the home button on our remote to get back to our uh, main home screen of our Fire TV or Fire Stick. And so now what we want to do is just come over here to our apps and channels section. And if you have a bunch of stuff in there, just scroll all the way over until you get to see all. If you don't have a bunch of stuff, you may see Cody right there in, the, uh, in that first row of apps. But we'll go ahead and click see all and now we're going to go ahead just to the bottom of the screen here where Cody is and what I usually like to do is just click the menu button and then click move to front and there we go and so we're going to go ahead now and open up Cody and there we go we have Cody open and installed now now there's nothing in here right now so this is where the beauty of, con of Cody config comes in and so the first thing we're going to do to make sure everything runs smoothly is we're going to come up here to this little gear right here this little icon and we're going to then come over to where it says system settings and click on system settings. And now we're going to come over here to where it says add-ons and we're going to scroll over from add-ons to unknown sources. We're going to go ahead and click on unknown sources. You're going to get a little warning message here. This is just letting you know that you're allowing third party uh, access to your Kodi system. This is what we want because we want to actually add third party add-ons into our Kodi system. So we're going to go ahead and click on yes. And now once we've done that, we're going to go back to our home screen. So we're just going to click the home button on our remote. That'll take us back here. And now we want to come back over here to downloader and click on downloader. And from downloader, we're going to come back up here to our address bar and click in the address bar. And we're going to go ahead now and type in a different web address. So this is the address right here. It's codyconfig.com. So it's codyconfig.com. Once we've put that in there, we're going to go ahead and click on go or push the play button. And from Downloader, what we want to do is come over here all the way to the left and go up to Browser and click on Browser. Now from here, we want to go back up to the address bar and we're going to go ahead and clear this out. So we're just going to go ahead and then type in this address here. So there we have it. It is www.codyconfig.com. That's what we want. So we're going to go ahead now and go and click either the Go button or the Play button on your remote. And once the website loads up, what we want to do is just go ahead and scroll down a bit. And right here where it says configurator for Kodi, that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and click that there. And so now we're going to go ahead and scroll down again. And you'll see the download uh, link buttons there. So you'll see one that says Google Play, install uh, APK1, install APK2, and then install software. We're going to go ahead right here to install APK1 and click that there. This is going to start downloading and as you see it already downloaded and now we're just going to come over here and click the install button. This is going to install configurator for Kodi onto our Fire TV device and just like that you can see that it is now installed. So now once we have it installed what we can do is uh, we can either click done or open. We're going to go ahead and click on done since we don't need the APK once we have it installed. So we're going to go ahead and click delete. We're going to go ahead and click delete again and that is going to get rid of the APK So we, because we don't need it. It just takes up space on our device. So now what we're going to do is go back to our home screen. We're just going to click the home button on our remote and now from here we're going to scroll down to where it says your apps and channels. We're going to scroll all the way down to the end where it says see all and go there and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of our list now and there we will see the icon for configurator. We're going to go ahead and click on the menu button and we're going to choose move to front just so it's a little bit easier to access and get to. So there we have it at the top of the list there. So now we're going to go ahead and click it to open it up. And if you get a message like this, it says Google Play service is not installed. Google Play service is not installed or outdated. So app won't run properly on your device. Just go ahead and click on continue. And if you get this where it's uh, asking for access to your photo media and files on your device, go ahead and click allow. And now this is where it gets really, really fun and really easy to install your Kodi builds. Just come over here to where it says configurator. You can see here 
where we have notifications and configurator and maintenance. We're just going to go ahead and click on configurator and we're going to come right here to where it says setup and we're going to go ahead and you can see all the different categories where they have like notifications, automatic build update, switch build, add remove add-ons, uh, change boot screen, maintenance, downloads, all this good stuff here. But what we're going to do is just go up here to where it says setup and click on setup and you probably will get an ad. Just click the back button on your remote to get out of that. And now you'll see here, all these are different builds right here that you can use. So all of these are going to be different builds and you can choose any one that you want. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just choose something like, uh, I'll choose this supremacy build, the supremacy black build. I'll click that there. And one thing you can notice here as well, it will show on here which version of Cody that is for. And if you look on the uh, far right side, it will show you the uh, size of the actual build. So if you scroll down here to say the uh, say the Durex Infusion build, you'll see this one's again for Cody 17, and it's a little bit lighter than the other one. It's 361 uh, megabytes. And if we keep scrolling down somewhere here, let's uh, see if we can find one here. That's for 18. We can see there the Cody. Uh, Collusion Leia, that one is going to be for 18. And this other one, this Maverick build is for 16. And you can see there's some other ones in here that are gonna be for 18 as well. So we'll scroll back up here and uh, we'll see if we can get to the back here to the Supremacy Black build. And we're gonna go ahead and click that there. And if we get an ad, just go ahead and click the back button on your remote again to get out of it. And now you'll see this, it says, which is your media player? Just come here and click on Cody and then uh, click the button, the middle button to check it. And now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down until we get over here to next. And we're gonna click next. And we will uh, probably get a little message like this, another ad, just click back to get out of it. And from here, you may get a message from the developer. Just go ahead and click where it says I will. And now it will start to download your uh, your Cody system, your Cody build that you're going to put into your Cody. So you'll see there it's zipping right along. It'll take just a few moments for this to go through. And you can see there it says tweaking Cody. So it's uh, it's going through. It says that it can take anywhere between five minutes and 30 minutes. In my experience with this, it hasn't taken nearly that long at all. I don't think I've ever had it where it even take it has taken the full five minutes, but it can and it, it can really just depend on your system. So um, be patient and give it the time that's needed if it is taking a little bit longer than you expected. Okay, so once things get close here to being done, you may get a little message like this that says plugin missing. Just go ahead and click install plugin and it'll start to download the plugin here and you'll see there it zips right along really quickly. And we'll go ahead and we'll click the install button there. And Exodus Live is actually an app for live TV. So we're actually gonna, I'm gonna show you guys that after I show you uh, the Cody setup here. But let's go ahead and let's just uh, click done to get rid of this. And again, you may get an ad. There's quite a few ads on there. Don't worry about that. And now you'll see here when we get back here, it says success installed successfully. We're gonna go ahead and click on open Cody now. And when we open Cody, you're gonna see the system like that. If you don't see your Cody build on here, what you wanna do is just go ahead and go back and we're gonna come over here to where it says interface settings and click interface settings. And we're gonna come over to where it says skin. And if you don't see your, if you don't still don't see it when you click on skin, if you don't see a different skin, then what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and force close Cody. So we're gonna go ahead and click and hold our menu button, or excuse me, we're gonna click and hold our home button and then you're gonna bring up this, uh, this menu here. We're gonna go over to the settings tab right there and click settings. And now we're going to scroll over to where it says applications. We'll scroll down to where it says manage installed applications. And we're just gonna scroll down till we get to Cody here. And from Cody, we'll click that. And we're going to now hit force stop. And now we will go up to where it says launch application and we'll launch the application again. And you'll see there it's Cody 17.6 Krypton loading up and we still don't have our build. And so let's see if we have our add-ons. So there we go, we have all of the add-ons from the build, but we don't actually have the graphic interface for the build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here again and see if we can get the, uh, the actual graphic interface for the build. And to do that, we just need to come all the way back up here to where the little gear is and click the gear. And we'll come over here again to where it says interface settings and click that there. And we'll scroll back over to where it says skin. 
and now you'll see the other skin in there, the black uh, glass Nova. So we're going to go ahead and click that there, and it's going to ask us would we like to keep it. We're going to say yes, and now we can go ahead and hit the back button on our remote again to get out of that. And now we have our build with our full graphic interface like we want it. Now from here, we can go and check out the different sections. You can see there's movies and under movies, there's different add-ons that we can access here. And we can go here and we can see music. We can see the supremacy add-on there. There's different uh, parts of that add-on uh, section as well. And we can come up here, we can go back over, we can see there's uh, another add-on section, another add-on with its different categories that we can check out there. We have uh, sports, TV shows, kids, live TV, supremacy, IPTV, wizard, add-ons, favorites, settings, and more, and quit. So there's all kinds of stuff on there that we can do. Now this is another cool part if you guys want to. What we can do is actually go back to our home screen here, and we're going to come back over here to our configurator for Cody and click that. And we're going to go ahead and click back. We're just going to keep clicking back here, and you'll see that, uh, that there's other add-ons here. But we're going to click back a little bit more here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and go to switch build and click that. And we'll get the ad. We'll click out of the ad. And you'll see here it's going to say uh, switch build. It's going to say switch builds allows you to keep multiple builds on your device and once and uh, at once and toggle between them. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on enable. And now we're going to come back up here and go back to setup and click setup. And if we get an ad, we'll just click out of the ad by hitting the back button on our remote. And so now we're going to scroll down and we're going to find a different build that we want to install. So we'll check something like the Durex build here. We'll click that and we'll click out of the ad again. And then remember when it asks, what is your player, your media player, we're going to click on Cody and we're going to scroll all the way down. And then we're going to click over to next and click next. And we'll click back the back button on a remote to get out of the ad. And you'll see here, it's going to ask us for the developer message again. We'll click I will. And you'll see here it says your Kodi file is size of three megabytes and uh, available space is three gigabytes. Do you want to keep backing up? We're going to go ahead and say yes. This is going to then start downloading all of the uh, all of the information that we need again for this build. So it'll take just a few moments. And there we go. It is pretty much uh, done. It says it's tweaking Kodi again. So this will take just a few moments and then we will have everything uh, set up and ready to rock and roll. All right, so there we go. It looks like things are done and it's thrown us an ad. So we'll go ahead and just hit the back button on our remote to get out of the ad. And you'll see there it says successful installed successfully. So we'll go ahead and click on open Cody. And again, if you see that it doesn't look like anything has happened, what we're going to do is just click our uh, push and hold our home button on our remote. We're going to go back over to settings from settings. We're going to scroll back over to applications and we're going to scroll down to manage installed applications. We're going to scroll down until we get to Cody here. And once we get to Cody, we're going to click Cody and we're going to hit force stop. And then we're going to go ahead and click launch application. And there you go. You see, it says hypersonic two. It's now loading up the new build. And so there we have it. The new build is loading up as we can see. And after you get this loaded up, just remember that it's going to take some time for the, uh, for the build to load. So if it just spins, don't worry about it. Just give it some time to load. But we'll just go through and uh, look at some of the categories. So we have uh, movies, sports, TV pro, system, apps. Uh, not sure what that is. Music, kid zone, TV shows, and movies again. And if you click on here, you'll see the different categories that you have that you can go and look at them. But so now that we have at least two builds installed, let me show you the cool thing about this uh, Cody, config, uh, Cody configurator. So we're going to go ahead and open it up again. And we're going to go ahead and back out of this. And now we're going to get back here to the configurator page here. And we're going to go over here where it says switch build. And we're going to switch the build. So we're going to click that there. And if we get an ad, we'll just click out of the ad. And now right here where it says switch build, instead of hitting enable, we're going to come over here to where it says build and click that. And now you'll see here where it says choose a backup. So right now we have the Durex build on here. If we go ahead and click supremacy black build, we can click that there and we can go ahead and check and uh, click on restore. And you can see it says build restored successfully. So now we can go ahead and go back to our home screen. We can go back over to Cody and open up Cody again. And if we don't see, if we still see our old build up there, then we just need to go ahead and force close Cody again 
by clicking and holding our home button and going back over to settings and now we can just come over here to applications and we can scroll down to where it says manage installed applications and we can scroll down to where we see Cody and once we get to Cody we'll click that we'll go ahead and force close it and then we'll click launch application and you'll see Cody starting to open back up and there we go we now have our supremacy build loaded right back up we didn't have to go through the installation process again we just simply had to switch the build and then force close Cody and open it back up and now we have our supremacy build right back in there now if you're in one of the builds and you see a page like this don't worry about it it's just sort of an information page just go ahead and click dismiss and you can get rid of it and then you'll be ready to start uh, clicking through and watching your uh, your content as you like all right so I want to show you another cool feature of Confo of Cody config and for this uh, for this feature I switched over to my Nvidia Shield Android TV box you can use the, your, your Nvidia Shield or your Android TV box or your uh, Android phone or tablet but what you want to do is go to your favorite web browser you can go I'm gonna use Chrome in this instance so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Chrome I'm gonna go ahead and type in this web address here so there we go we want to type in codyconfig.com so I'm gonna go ahead and click on go and you'll see here that I'll be back to the codyconfig.com website and we can see the configurator apps here that are available and so earlier we used the configurator for Cody what we want to use this time is the Exodus Live TV 100% free internet TV so we're gonna go ahead and click that right there and so once we're here on the site what we want to do is just scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see you're gonna have the install APK1 and install APK2 I'm gonna go ahead and click on install APK1 and you'll see there it's gonna say open with Chrome and it'll have it where it says just once or you can choose ES Explorer I'm gonna go ahead and choose open with Chrome just once and you'll see there it's now downloading and it will say that it is actually downloaded already and you can move over here and click on open if you missed it and it went it went away too fast just come up here to these three little dots right there and click that and you can come down right here where it says downloads and click on downloads and now you can come right here to where it says Exodus uh, 2.0 APK that's what we wanted so we're going to go ahead and click that right there and now we can go ahead and we can click on the app to go ahead and install it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the install button you'll see there it starts installing it's gonna install really quickly and there we go just like that it's already installed and you're seeing it we now have the option to delete the APK if we want so I'm gonna go ahead and click clean this is gonna delete the APK because once we have the app installed we no longer need it and we don't need to keep it on our device it just takes up space so I'll click the clean button and there we go it's now gone so now I can go ahead over here and I can click on uh, open to open up the app and here you're gonna see it says cheapest HD reliable IPTV it says join club free or donate $2.99 and enjoy the best internet TV you can join if you want you don't have to what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just click this little uh, box to say don't show again and then I'm gonna click OK and now you can see here that I have these different categories that I can click into to watch I have news USA local news religious sports music information we have the uh, we have the kids and um, the entertainment and kids we have hit movies Caribbean and African UK and Canada health favorites and fitness so those are all the categories that you can use so I'm just gonna come over here to say um, I'll go to the entertainment and kids and click that there and you'll see all these different channels that you can access and watch there's lots and lots of channels you have uh, premium movie channels like Showtime and you have other kids channels like Disney and Disney XD you have uh, stars and encore stars encore you have Cinemax HBO there's more stars and more stars and more HBO's there's BT more HBO there's all kinds of good stuff on there so there's lots and lots of content on here that you can uh, that you can watch and enjoy so and if you want to watch something you can just come and find the channel that you want to watch so we'll just scroll up here a little bit and let's just say we want to go to HBO we just click on that right there and we just wait for it to load up now if you get something like this this little this thing that says unity of strength support the club just go ahead and back out of the uh, out of the app 
and you may see this thing right there just go ahead and back out again and then click the channel again sometimes you have to do this a few times until you get to a different ad because there are ads on this um, on this app and once you click in here and get to an ad that looks like this then you can just go ahead and wait for this to play through and once it does then you will have access to the channel all right so there you go we've loaded it up and now the channel is loaded up and playing now I have noticed that sometimes when you load these channels they don't always correspond with the name that's on there so if you notice I clicked on HBO and it went to Fox Crime I'm not sure why that is so we'll just try another one we'll try Cinemax Action HD and again if you get this uh, this particular ad you're just going to keep backing out and going back into it until you actually get to a different ad and there we go again apparently it's taking us right back to that channel but the good thing is once you are in and away from those ads, you can actually just click on the up and down buttons on your device and you can scroll through and you can get to various channels that you want to watch by just clicking up or down and switching channels that way without having to actually go out of the uh, out of the channel play windows. So you just have to click through again and then stuff will load up and you can actually see there. Now every once in a while you'll get a new ad like this. If that happens, you just have to wait for the ad to play through. So there we go. The movie channels are back up again. The play window's back up again. So we can just go ahead and start clicking up and down to switch channels. And again, this is live TV. So sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to start buffering. And you can always just go ahead and keep on switching through if you like. But there you go. There's all kinds of great channels in there that you can watch. So we'll go out of here. We'll click out of here and we'll go out of this section. We'll just switch over to say, um, we'll go to news. You can click on news there. And you can see all the various channels that are available to watch. And if you want to watch something again, you just click on it to uh, to get out. And if you get that silly ad, you just wait till you get to this ad here. And then you can actually go ahead and wait it out. And then the channel will load up after this ad plays. And so there we go. That is the channel right there. It is loaded up. And you can see there that it is playing. And it looks pretty good. And you guys can enjoy the uh, the content all that you want so there's lots and lots of channels in here as you can see so you can watch whatever it is that you want to watch and if you come down if you go over here and you check out there's all the sports channels there you can check out you can um, you can come up here and go to your local channels you can see there's channels from all over the US and you can click on any of these that you want to watch and check out whatever content there is in your local area so that's it you guys that is the basics of it you do have again the religious channels there that you can check out there is a uh, a hit movie section there where you can go and click on the various movies to watch those movies that you want these are all video on demand movies so you guys can enjoy that and uh you know again there's some uh some channels there some caribbean and african channels that you guys can enjoy there if you uh if you want to watch any of that there and again, there's UK and Canada channels that you guys can enjoy there as well. So there's all kinds of good stuff here. And you can save favorites. If you have a channel that you want to watch on a regular basis, you can come here. And if you know that you want to watch, you know, um, NBC or Bravo or something, you can click that, you know, and you can come over here and we'll go back again. You can come over here to the side where that little heart is, click the heart, and you'll see it'll now be red. And you can do that for many different channels if you like. Click it and you'll see the little heart that'll turn red. And now when you come back over here and go to the favorites section, your favorites will be saved in there. Except the favorites is only for club members. So if you do want to use that, you're going to have to sign up for the clubs, uh, for the club thing and, uh, and join the club. But otherwise, you can enjoy all of this other content in here for free. And yeah, there you have it. That is, uh, that is Exodus Live TV. All right, so there you have it. That is it. That is Cody Config. And as you can see, they make it very, very easy to get really great looking custom builds onto your Cody system. It allows you to quickly and easily switch them up. So if you want to have a couple of builds, let's say you have your favorite build, like a sports one or a kid's one or whatever else, and you want to be able to put those on when you feel like it, this is a really great way to do it. You just need to make sure that you force close Cody on your device and then reload it so that your Cody, your new build actually shows up. And then just like that, you have your Cody, uh, your custom Cody build on there. You don't have to worry about going back in and putting the info back in and re-downloading it. All of it's backed up and ready for you to use at your convenience. 
So also the live TV component is really nice. There is a little, there's a few hiccups with that. There can be a few ads in there, but it is free. And as a consequence of free, you know, the developers have to support themselves and most of them do that with ads. And so you just have to click out of the ads, but the TV actually works. The TV service works really well. It has really nice streams and nice image quality. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell wherever you may find it. And that way you don't miss any episodes as I release them. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.